Good afternoon and welcome to the Faith Gallery Vision Center located at 227 North Market Street in Wilmington, Delaware. And this afternoon, I'm devoting my entire video to... Yeah, I'm devoting my entire video to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the Wilmington Job Corps Center. The place, or the company, no, it's not a company, from which I retired. 13 years ago and since I've been to the United States I've had a few jobs I worked in the banking industry for 12 years well first I taught at the Catholic school let that go to the voicemail for one year I transitioned into the banking industry for, I was there for 12 years the most 12 most miserable years of my life where I faced discrimination, wasn't treated right, but I rose above it. I also worked at the Springfield College where I got my master's degree. I was an adjunct professor there. For a little while I worked at Elwin Center for uh, People with Disabilities. And it was from there that I went to Job Corps the best job that I ever had. And money has nothing to do with it because I was paid, you know, making decent money in the banking industry. But discrimination uh, was rife when I worked there back in the early 90s. That is beyond, is bes behind me now. This morning I was in awe. I was in joy at the Wilmington Job Corps Center. I was asked to, to speak of my, you know, experiences. And I gave a, a very heartfelt presentation of my, my time at Job Corps. As a career preparation specialist, my job was to groom this, the young career trainees who came in to the program. And the program is geared for youth 16 to 24, at, at the time I worked it was up to 25. 16 to 24, and they are, the, well number one, it's free. And this is the best kept secret probably in, in, in the city of Wilmington. It seemed like a lot of people don't know about it. Their capacity is up to 150. Now they're 90. If you're out there listening to me, and you have a youth, who wants to get a career for free. They send them to Job Corps. And you know, um, there are some stigmas people have out there. Oh, they must go to four-year college. Well, look, last week, I was inducted in the Delaware Business Leaders Hall of Fame. Two of my guests were my mentees. One of them was a job course student. She had come to do internship at my gallery and I became her mentee. She advanced herself. She went to the year of program. She got her associate's degree. She, she got other accolades. Now she has a big time job, big job in the banking industry. So uh, you don't have to start out going to a four-year college. Job Corps provides a free FREE -E program for youth, as I said, 16 to 24. And if you enter without a high school diploma, you get that too. You, they have training to train them to, alongside their trades they can work on their high school diploma 
the program is great. I'm going to delve into more of it, but I'm going to talk about more about my experience as the career preparation specialist. Now for two weeks, when the students came into the program, they weren't sent to their trades. There are four trades, culinary arts, facility maintenance, business technology, that's business administration, and healthcare, certified nursing assistant, CNA. Those are the four trades. But when they came to campus, in the first two weeks, they did not go to their trade. They were with me in a classroom where I prepared them for the world of work. We developed soft skills, had some fun too. I integrated arts in the program, music. And the program is rich. This, this career preparation program, a center point for me in that program was a list of 12 affirmation, which each morning we went through an affirmation. We talked about it and we acted if we had to, and we created work around it, about it. We had to write journals. And there, there are three of those 12 affirmation that stand out. And I, in my speech this morning, I refer to them. I will respect myself and others. Now that's a very important affirmation because in the society in which we live today, respect is gone through the door. There, there's very little respect. There's no respect, especially with some of our politicians who are so arrogant. If you listen to those ads out there, or when some politicians get into um, an interview, I want, don't even want to go there. Suffice it to say, we need to revive respect. So uh, yes, that was one of the affirmation. The, uh, one of the 12. Another one that I love very dearly was, I will discipline myself so no one else has to. Yeah, self-discipline. Discipline yourself. If you discipline yourself, I don't have to discipline. And during the time I worked with those young people, I didn't have to do any harsh type of discipline. They, uh, whenever anything was going on, um, above the normal, I would just say the affirmation, I will discipline myself so no one else has to. And that was a code. That was a code and they knew it. And Miss LaFaith say that they would whip themselves in shape. So that's affirmation number two. And another one that stood out for me, we are talking about 12 affirmations, but I picked three. I will make healthy decisions and healthy decision revolves around a number of areas lifestyle your physical well-being mental health all of that combined now i said there were 12 affirmations that were in a, written in a little booklet later i added a 13th affirmation and every morning, it was a routine, because this, the students who go to Job Corps, they're, they're, there was a stereotype, still probably still is. They figure the students who went to Job Corps were students who were dropouts, or they were no good, or they couldn't um, fit into any other. And that is so wrong. It is an arrogant stereotype. So one of the national directors of Job Corps, she brought up the idea that we are not going to treat our students as youth at risk. We are going to treat them as youth at promise. Because that's what they are. They are youth at promise. They're not at risk. What is at risk is, is society. Society is at risk. And henceforth, the youth 
if they are not given the proper training, mentoring, etc., then that's where the at risk come into play. But naturally, they are at promise. So I would add to the affirmations, and this morning, when I made my presentation at Job Corps, I even asked them to repeat after me. I am not at risk, I am at promise. And if you are out there, and for whatever the reason your child is being labeled as at risk, it is your responsibility as parent or guardian or teacher or preacher to reinforce with those youth that they're not at risk, they're at promise. But you can't just say it, you have to bring out the promise in them. And that is what I did as a career preparation specialist. I brought out the promise in the students. I involved them in extracurricular activities, journal writing, social skills, presentations. Those who had aptitude for music, I entertained their music. They would rap in my classroom. All of that teaching them to believe in themselves. And in the city of Wilmington, Delaware, on a daily basis, I come across many of our alumni, Job Corps alumni. They're in great jobs. I told you that Job Corps student who is working in the banking industry now making high four figures. And I see them around the city they are so respectful, Miss LaFaith, and whenever I see them, they are so cheerful. They are happy to see me because I treated them well. Great memories. And as I use the word great memories, let me um, expand on that. One of the things I said in my presentation at Job Corps this morning is that you should, if I were going to give advice about retirement, I would say, Retire from the job you love. Quit the job you hate. And here's a, here, here's a rationale. If you retire from the job you love, you carry pleasant memories into your retirement. Happy memories. If you keep on working in an environment that is not good and you're angry and it's making you feel unwanted, etc., and you, you keep on, keep on to keep that job and you lead up to retirement. And if you retire from the job you hate, what are you going to carry into retirement? Misery. It's plain and simple. So quit the job you hate. Retire from the job you love. And that is why I have this happy streak. Uh, most times you see me, I am dancing, yes. Because I retired from a job that I loved. And I brought into my retirement very, very pleasant memories. So now I am a business owner. And uh, I am a business owner of a small business. Nine years go and, and counting going so back to job corps this morning i was in delight i was so happy to be and one of the things i noticed when i went to job corps this morning is that there were people there from the beginning they don't hardly leave job corps is such a wonderful place to work you know people don't run away from that job there were many of my old colleagues miss bernie the nurse who is in charge of the CNA program, she was there from day one and she's still there. There are many other people who were there with me 13 years ago. They're still there. Miss Waddell, Miss Jones, Mr. Jones, Miss Ross, and, and others are still working at Job Corps. Why? Because it is a pleasant environment in which to work. And they're seeing the fruits of their labor. 
There was one young lady who told her story. Everybody was spellbound. She had gone through the nursing program all the way up to a registered nurse. And she's back at Job Corps working there. So as I said, I don't want Job Corps to be the best kept secret. If you have high school or students who are reaching high school level and they're, they're not sure about their career, they don't know what they want to do because there are some of them out there, register them in the Job Corps program. It is free. Uh, it's more than free. It, there is no tuition. They get clothes, they get uniform, they get two meals a day, and every two weeks they get money, stipend. And if they are out, if their campus is out of state, all their expenses are paid, traveling and all. It is a wonderful program started in the early 60s, and it is going to serve millions. And the Wilmington Job Corps Center has served over 4,000 students in the last 20 years. And there is this stereotype, and there is this um, belief, oh, my child, uh, I don't want my child to go to community college. I don't want my child to go to those types of programs. My child must go to a four-year college. And sometimes this is so unrealistic, young people can't handle it. There are some four-year colleges not for everyone. Everyone may not be able to live up to four-year college. They go to Job Corps, and sometimes I've had students there who finished in three months. Those who came in with their high school diploma, some of them finished their fast track. They're, uh, they, they're, they finish that program, get their work, and they go on to college, and there is a college track associated with it. I am very, very passionate about Job Corps, and I'm highly recommending the program. And we need to break out, break away from stereotypes and think that students should only go to four-year college. Some of them are not ready for four-year college. They may not have the kind of aptitude or whatever the wherewithal that it takes to handle a four-year college right out from high school. Let them go to job core. Get that social grooming, get that trade. And let me go back to the trades. Okay, so there is culinary arts, and Job Corps has been known to be one of the best places to train people for culinary arts. Facility maintenance, you will never be out of a job. If you get your training in facility maintenance, you always have a job. This is an, uh, another one that you, you'll you never be out of a job. CNA, Certified Nursing Assistant. Look, our population is aging. And more and more, people in the health field, there is a shortage somewhere, some places. So if you will take that track, you'll always have a job. Business technology, business skills. Every one of those tracks, those trades, are secure type jobs you will get from them. So I encourage you out there, if you have youth ages 16 to 24, and they're struggling, not sure what they want to do, don't let them just struggle. Get them into the Job Corps program. It is free. I even put the, the phone number there. Call Job Corps and ask to get an application for, for your youth. For the, the it, registration is year, year round. There's no set time. It's not September. It's, it's not by the semesters. It is any time of the year. You can register your youth in the Job Corps program. Uh, let me give you some more information from coming directly from the Job Corps program. Okay. All right. What you'll find out at Job Corps. Career technical training 
in your chosen field, and I named the four fields again, I named them culinary arts, business technology, facility maintenance, and healthcare, which is a certified nursing program. Hands-on experience. They, they get internships. Hands-on experience with real employers. They go out and they intern and get hired. Yes, I've had um, interns who have come here and they have left and they have gotten jobs out there. Because if they come under my mentorship, believe you me, I am well known in the city. And if they put my name on their application, they get the, the, that job is almost secure. And, you know, it's, I'm not trying to overemphasize my importance, but I'm committed. I'm a servant leader. As I said when I got that, when I was inducted in the business leaders, Hall of Fame. I'm a servant leader. I'm not here to get accolades for myself. I continue, continue to get them, but it, um, I'm a servant leader. Okay, what else about Job Corps? High school diploma and state high school equivalency program offered free online. They have their programs there. Community college partnerships, apprenticeship programs, driver, oh, they leave and get their driver's license, don't have to pay a dime. The, these are all the benefits of Job Corps. Okay, let's, let's continue. Mentoring and tutoring programs that pair you with center staff, career counselors, and community leaders. Help finding a job they have once the students are finished there is a department there that is designated to find them a job job placement so once they finish their training they're in job placement mentoring programs appear yes with the um, career counselor they have career counselors based on their trade there is a career counselor for every trade help finding a job or pursuing higher education. And we build them up to say, yes, you can go to college. You can go to four-year college after finishing Job Corps. Assistance for up to 12 months after you graduate. Even after they leave Job Corps, they're insured assistance in career, building, recreational, student government. They have a great student government program they don't play their student government is strong and leadership programs and while i was there i had my extracurricular activities that grew them to say in addition to your real career you can have you know they have different names for it <laughs> in my country it says sideline some people say hustle side hustle whatever but um, I recall having a student who was inclined to music, loved music, and I always was like eating drums in my class while I was teaching the other career skills. I didn't embarrass him. I put him aside. I said, young man, you have a talent, and here's how I want you to use it. Go cut a CD with all the music you're making. Cut a CD and sell your CD on the sidewalk for five dollars. He did. There was another one who was great at caricatures, and he would be drawing in my class when I'm teaching other skills. Put him aside in a very loving way. I said, look, I'm an artist. I love art. I said, you're even better than me. I'm not good at caricatures. I am not good at uh, portraits, but you're excellent at it but while i'm teaching my skills i don't want you to be drawing i want you to listen up and participate in the learning process but here's what you can do buy a folded chair and a folded table go to events set up and do your caricatures and charge the young man did 
he received a commission to do a family portrait, earned approximately, uh, well, I think it was like $800. And this was long, long time ago, over 13 years ago. What I'm saying is that we must invest in our youth and see them as youth at promise and not youth at risk and develop the promise in them and train them to be leaders, to replace us in various positions, to be the next CNA leaders up to the level they can go all the way up. There's no limit. There is no limit. And again, the Job Corps program is free. Free, no expenses for the students. They receive clothing, breakfast, lunch, and every two weeks they get hard cash, money, a stipend. Come on, what more can you, how lucky can you be? So if you're out there with a the youth ages 16 to 24, struggling to make a way to find out what they're going to do, register them in the Job Corps program. Job Corps is located at 9 Vandiver Avenue in Wilmington, Delaware. Call them and ask for an application and let them get into Job Corps. As I said, the, the program has capacity for 150. Current enrollment is 90. So th there's a lot of seats to fill there. So you know students, send them there. I am highly recommending. So then, yeah, thank you for watching and for listening. It is a pleasure to be able to talk about my, my, my former job, the job from which I retired. Love that job very much. Yes, because uh, the rewards were great. Seeing my youth, seeing them, elevate themselves it's one of the you know greatest personal rewards for me so thank you for watching like and share the video